Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started, okay? And what we're doing today is we're subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators. And as you can see here, when I was working out the math, I made a mistake. I wrote down the wrong problem, so I crossed that out. So ignore that, okay? So let's go ahead and let's get started with our first, first example. What's a mixed number? A mixed number has a whole number like this 9 here and this 6 here. That's a whole number. It's a complete number. And a mixed number has a whole number and a fraction. So this mixed number is 9 and 3 eighths. This mixed number here is 6 and 1 eighth. Okay, so that's what it is. So, first of all, I have to recognize and make sure that I know my, my whole numbers from my fractions. So, I underlined the whole numbers and I circled in red the fractions. So, that's step number one. You don't have to do it, just make note of it, okay? I'm just showing you how we get this done. So, now what I do is I'm going to subtract because we're subtracting. 9 take away 6, I'm looking at the whole numbers, that's going to be a 3, which is right there. Then after I do that, then I'm going to subtract 3 take away 1. I can do that because I have the same denominator, okay? Next year, you're going to be working with fractions that have different denominators, and that's going to be a problem. And you know what I mean by a problem? It, I mean that it's not going to be difficult. That's not what I mean at all. I just mean that we're going to have to do something about it, okay? But it's certainly not going to be tough, and I'm going to help you out with it, so don't worry. Okay, so we've got the same denominator. We bring that down, our 8's right there, and then I subtract 3 from 1, or 1 from 3. 3 take away 1 is 2. So 3 take away 1 is 2, so I have 3 and 2 eighths. Now I have the 2 eighths circled because I always have to ask myself, is there a way that I can reduce this? Can I reduce it? Can 2 and 8 go into each other? Or better yet, can I divide the 2 and the 8 by the same number? Well, we have an even number here. So we have a 2 and an 8. They're both even numbers. And when they're both even numbers, I can always divide by 2. Okay, so I'm going to divide by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay? so. I've reduced it, so our answer is going to be 3 and 1 fourth. So therefore, 9 and 3 eighths minus 6 and 1 eighth equals 3 and 1 fourth, or 3 and a quarter. Okay? Let's take a look at our second example. Here we have a mixed number 6 and 3 fourths minus 5 and 2 fourths. Okay? Now again, I made sure that I made it clear what the whole numbers are. So the whole numbers are 6 and 5 and the fractions are 3 fourths and 2 fourths. So let's just move down. Okay. So now that I have it established, I can just do 6 take away 5 is 1. And then because I have the same denominator, I can bring that down. And that's wonderful when it's the same denominator. Okay. So I can bring down the 4. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So here I have 1 and 1 fourth. And I have this circled because I always have to ask myself, can I reduce it? Is it possible to make this smaller? And in this case, the answer is no. So here I'm going to have 1 and 1 fourth, and that's the answer. Therefore, 6 and 3 fourths minus 5 and 2 fourths equals 1 and 1 fourth. And that's it, boys and girls. Piece of cake, right? That's right. And if it isn't a piece of cake, don't worry. You can watch this lesson over and over again as often as you need until you grasp the concepts. Okay? Now let me remind you that your parents that your parent has a PDF with 20 pages worth of practice problems like these. So you're going to get the practice, and I promise you that you're going to become outstanding at this, and this is going to be a breeze for you. It really, really is, boys and girls. The other thing that I want to tell you is that please, 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 you've got 20 pages worth of practice problems. Do you have to do all the practice problems all at once? Absolutely not. Just go ahead and do the first page. Do the first page for now, and that's it. That's all you need to do. And then the next time, do the second page, and then the next time, 
do the next page. All you're going to be doing is one to two pages a week. That's it, boys and girls, okay? So please don't try to rush through this. Let's take our time. Let's master the concepts. That's more important because I really want this stuff to sink in. It's important that you remember it forever. And I know that it's absolutely possible. Parents, I want to thank you again. And boys and girls, we'll see you very, very soon at our next lesson. With that said, please take care, everyone. Bye-bye.